So here it is, it's finally arrived. The Husqvarna Hardcross. I believe this is the first Hardcross to land on UK shores. We've been lucky enough at Marsh Power Sports to take delivery of this bike. We have been Husqvarna dealers for the past five years, stocking the off-road and on-road motorcycles. We're branching out into the e-bike world and we'll be stocking the full lineup of Husqvarna e-bikes as well as the full lineup of Gas Gas e-bikes, which we'll go into in future videos. This is actually my personal bike, so I'd like to thank Ash at Skavana Bicycles for organising this staff purchase for me. So the idea of having this is for me to ride and review and hopefully give you guys some insights on this bike before you make your next e-bike purchase. They have not cut any corners when choosing the components back for this bike. The motor, the Shimano EPA. 250 watt, 85 loop meter torque. The battery, the Core S3, 720 watt hour, neatly integrated into the frame. The suspension, Fox 38 factory, 180 millimeters travel with the Grip 2 damper. On the rear, the Fox Float X2 factory, 170 millimeters of travel. Both are fully adjustable. The wheels, They've gone for a mullet configuration of a 29 inch on the front, 27 inch on the rear. DT Swiss HX 1700 wheels. The brakes, they should have come with Shimano XT, but mine for some reason came with the Cura 4s. I think this is due to um, supply issues, um, which is not a really bad issue. Um, I had the Cura 4s on my previous bike and they are extremely powerful brakes and I'm really happy to have these on my new bike and the feel feels pretty much the same. The shifter and the derailleur are both Shimano XTRs. Again, this saves weight and allows for uh, smooth shifting. Tires, so they've gone for Schwalbe. I'm really happy with the fact that they've gone for decent tires on this bike as standard with 2.6 widths on the rear and 2.4 on the front and more importantly they come with the super gravity casings um no the worst thing has happened is having a brand new bike and then i'm to spend 100 pounds just changing the tires straight off so i'm really happy this come with these tires the frame is alloy uh, with internally rooted cables um a few nice bits from this bike uh, that i've so far so first of all the fact that it comes with some decent chain state protection and the chain guide I'm really happy that they've also gone for a sump guard uh, just underneath the motor. They've left the motor in quite an open position, which is really good as it's going to aid cooling, prevent from overheating. But I'm really glad they've decided to add this protection part, which I imagine is a replaceable part um, on the bike, obviously, if it gets damaged in any way. Um, some of the parts that I quite like about the bike as well is the fact that the air ventilation on the front of the frame. This again allows to get some airflow into that battery and just aid some cooling. And so the risk here in. was a motorcycle brand trying to enter in the e-bike market by simply throwing a frame together, putting some shiny components on it and getting into market. Fortunately, this hasn't been the case with Husqvarna. They've employed some boffins who understand the necessary geometry to make a bike feel good and perform well ascending and descending. So Geometry numbers mean nothing without context. So I've put together some analysis for you. File some data to compare the weight and key geometry numbers against three other front runners in the Enduro e mountain bike class. We have chosen the Santa Cruz Bullet CC, the white E180 RSX, and the Specialized Canevo Expert. As you can see, the HC5 is on par with the premium established MTB models, but most importantly, with a lighter price tag. Feel free to pause this part of the video to check over the figures in more depth. So who is this bike for? Initially, before having the bike, um, I thought this bike was going to be a shuttle bike only. Perfect for bike parks, trail centres, where it will be great for the steep climbs up and then shuttling as many runs as you can in a day. Absolutely, from the testing we've done so far, this bike feels at home in the bike park. It's got plenty of travel. It feels light and feels nimble. It feels easy to throw around on the jumps and the flow trails. But I feel like it offers more than that. I feel like it's a bike that wants to be on steep tech. 
the fact that it's got such a short chain stay, the fact that you can get behind the bike, it's maneuverable. I feel like it's an all rounder. That punchy Shimano 85 Newton meter torque motor is great on the climbs. And being the bike is so light, it's been, it's been great so far on the longer distances. As this is an honest review, I'm going to talk about a few different parts of the bike that I potentially would change. So, first of all, I want to the bike. The normal things that you usually would change are the contact points. So, again, I put my own pedals on there. In this case, I've gone for some new Proof Horizon Sand Hill editions. Um, some things I am looking at changing are the kind of bars and grips. Um, things in like with the bars, they come with a 780mm. I would like to see an 800mm um, width bar. Potentially, you can cut down if you like narrower bars. The grips uh, are okay as stock grips. I potentially swap them grips out in the near future. Other things about the bike then sort of, uh, I really like the fact that it comes with the chain stay and the chain guard, but these components could be slightly better. Apart from them points, I wouldn't really change anything else on this bike. The bike comes really good spec as stock. Um, I think value for money on this bike is incredible. How would you buy one of these Husqvarna e-bikes? So all these models have just been added to our website. If you visit www.marshpowersports.co.uk If you go on to new bikes, Husqvarna e-MTV Search the model that you want, choose the frame size that you like, place your 200 pound deposit and I'll create your order. Alternatively, call over our sales staff on 01685 385 201 to speak one of our sales team. There will also be an opportunity to purchase these bikes on 0% finance. So, Husqvarna have done a collaboration with Santander Finance and they should have this 0% offer live within the next 2-3 to three weeks. So if you're enjoying these videos, please remember to like and subscribe. Here at March Power Sports, we've got the opportunity to bring you lots of different content. So we are a dealership for 20 different manufacturers, everything from MX, Enduro, Trials, EMTV, side by sides three-wheelers, jet skis, you name it. Please um, comment below what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.